Hey friends and family, guess what I've got in my hands? Sam's Beads Box for July. Sam Beads Box. <laughs> I'm so excited I can't even talk. Um, yeah, it's later. I kind of had a rough day. It didn't feel too good, but then I saw this was in my mailbox. So instead of going to bed, I'm going to do an unboxing uh, because I can't wait. And um, there's no way I'm going to be able to sleep knowing this is sitting out there without me looking at it and seeing what goodies are in here. And, uh, but I did, I am not going to probably reveal this until after they do their un official unboxing. I think I saw on their Facebook page, they're asking people to not spoil the surprise, which I totally get. So until they do their unboxing, uh, this will stay in the archives until, um, they do theirs and then I'll, I'll post this one. So today is the 13th, almost 14th of July. And uh, Sam's telling us happy summer. He had a great time curating this with his sister, Rachel. And it sounds like Rachel is the one who introduced him to the world of jewelry making. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Sam. Uh, we love your beads. So he envisions a pebble beach rich with earthy tones complemented by soft colors of the water and flora. So what he's saying is this is one of the most unique texture rich boxes yet, which I love texture. So I'm excited. $70 worth of beads, including a special collection of cultured man-made sea glass that's made to look like it was tumbled by waves. Wow. That sounds amazing. A stunning strand of Czech glass mermaids and three gorgeous gemstone collections. Okay. And then you can also sign up for his, gem chat group on Facebook uh, and use his hashtag and he does randomly draw a $25 gift card to his bead shop and he's also got things that he does throughout the week um, he collaborates with Sarah Lovecraft and um, oh yeah here we go Thursdays he does a live happy hour Saturdays there's a weekly live class and Mondays there's a Monday mini live sale so here's our list I am going to unpack this because he, one of the things he does very well is he packs everything scrupulously so that nothing's broken. I have yet to get anything broken from him. So I'm going to unhermetically seal this and be right back so that we can take a look at all the goodies. Wowie, wowie, wow. I'm seeing amazing things. I can't wait. So I don't know which bag to start with. I guess I'll start with this bag. Let's see what's in here. I got all my little trays ready. Oh, wow. oh, little treats. That's so nice. I love that he does that. He also labels everything really nicely. So you almost don't even need your list, although I like to save it. Later on, I cut these up and I, um, when I store the beads, I know what I have. Um, long time ago, I just threw everything away and then I regretted it because as I was making things, I didn't remember what the items were. So now I keep this and I use it to store. So let's, let me see here. Let me get myself situated. Two big bags. They're heavy, too, you guys. There's a lot in here. Oh, my goodness. Y'all. <laughs> I have to laugh. It's so gorgeous. Okay. All right. Let's start with this. Check glass flat pair brios in a light sapphire. 29 by 18 millimeter three-piece set. I believe we got something green like this smaller, maybe, in the peacock box. Yeah, these are bigger. That blue color's really pretty. And, um, it's a nice big piece. You could do a, you could almost make that into a focal, really. I was gonna look for a head pin so you could see. There's the, oops. Cooperate, please. There we go. There's the hole. 
Look how you can see right through that. It's like stained glass. I love it. I love that color. Give me a good close up. How's the lighting, guys? I've I've got I changed my lighting. Um, I got a new. Move this over. How that? I got a new um, phone stand that hopefully will not break on me, and I really like it. It's way easier to use, even. I was really struggling with the other one that I had, and then it broke on me. So, <laughs> so much for that. All right, and then what we got here? Check glass saucers, blue ice, six by two millimeter, six grams, approximately 50 pieces. So I'm seeing the water element that he's talking about, for sure, with the blue, isn't that pretty? Kind of a gray blue. I love these beads. They make not such nice spacers. All right. Chip glass drooks, it's in sea luster, eight millimeter, 16 grams, 25 pieces. Also in a really pretty blue. Ooh, I love the finish on those. Aren't those beautiful? Oh, beautiful. All right. Check glass faceted rondel burnt orange and a copper three by five millimeter, 30 pieces. Oh man, those are sparkly. That's gorgeous. Look at that next to that blue. And you know, blue and orange are compliments. So on the color wheel, so when you put complements next to each other, you get an instant vibration of energy that I, I really love. And they're just gorgeous together. Oh, here's the glass mermaids. Oh, you guys, these are so pretty. Check glass mermaids, which I've seen. I've never bought any, so I'm delighted they're in this box. I may have to hold these up. Look how cute. They're so detailed. Isn't she cute? Let's see, there's one, two, three, five of them. Long hair, little mermaid body. Those are adorable. I gotta do some earrings with those. We all need some mermaid earrings, I think. Don't you think? Right. Oh, this does. This looks like shells to me. Pebble Beach glass, check glass rondelles, three by five millimeter, twenty-five piece strand. This, yep. Walking down the beach and you collect the shells, you know. That's what that looks like. Definitely beachy. Very cool. What else we got? Check glass rose coin, a brown red wash, 14, 14 millimeter, 10 piece strands. 10 piece strand. I have these in lots of colors, but not this neutral color. What am I thinking of, like sand dollars? Doesn't that give you the sand dollar vibe? I think it does. Love the, um, the luster on that kind of a copper luster, and also got a little bit of silver luster. So, you know, uh, as I've said, mixing metals, they've already mixed the patina on here for you. So that's very cool. Let me put these here. All right. Chuck glass rice rectangles in blue ice six by three millimeters, seven grams, approximately 50 of those. Let's move our mermaids down here. I don't know where all my little triangles went. 
our little triangle trays. I think I'm using them up on projects. You guys, I have so many projects going. Um, I'm trying to finish up so many um, boxes. Uh, those are pretty. Those have a nice gray luster. They complement these um, saucer beads nicely. Yeah, so I've got to finish. I'm frantically trying to finish some things. Um, I've been working on my Jesse James beads uh, ambassador kit, which is coming along really well. I've got a couple of soft flex things I got to finish. And um, yeah, I'm a busy girl. Cultured sea glass Hishi beads in Peridot. Eight by three millimeters and eight inch strand. So that's a nice long strand. Love. Looks like, you know, tumbled glass you'd find on the beach. And I love that shape. All right. Looking gorgeous. Let's see what else we have here. I'm gonna move this strand down and we'll grab this little guy. Check glass daggers, green Picasso, 10 by three millimeter, seven grams. So these are more of like a, maybe think seaweed in the, in the water. They've got kind of a green Picasso luster. Mermaid hair, sea anemones, a little kelp, pretty. Okay. Check glass faceted rondelles in a sea green Picasso. Also gorgeous. I like these variety of, of shades. You see all these shades in the water and on the beach. So I think that they're, the color palette and the variety they're giving us is very, very accurate when it comes to their theme. Love those. And all of this together is just beautiful. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I love these. Hibiscus, chartreuse Picasso, 14 millimeter, five, piece set. These Czech glass flowers are just, I just love them. They're like little mini works of art. Here's a little heart tray. I'll put those in those. Definitely chartreuse. Table cut. Nice thick bead. Beautiful finish on those. Picks up the, um, this kind of metallic color. Almost a coppery kind of rust. Yeah, look at those. I definitely see the theme. Pretty. All right. Looks like we got some toggle class. Oh, these are pretty. Silver tone toggle clasps. These are lead free, two sets. 19 by 17 millimeter. Very pretty. The detail on these is really pretty. Gorgeous. Put them down there. And check glass melons in an artichoke mix. Six millimeters, 25 piece strand. Melon beads are great. They always have a pretty texture. And I love how the patina settles in those grooves. It makes them very interesting to look at. And fit along with our sea theme very nicely. Cultured sea glass teardrops in a light sapphire, 17 by 10 millimeters, six piece strand. Oh yeah.
Love that. Love the frosted glass. Filling up the mat pretty good, and I'm not even—I don't even know if I'm halfway done yet. Oh, you guys! I just fell in love. Cultured sea glass seahorse light sapphire. That is adorable. Oh my word! Look at this guy. Look at that guy. He is so detailed. Oh, I love him. <laughs> oh. He needs a name. What are we going to name him? I think I'm going to go with Seymour. Because I would like to see more. <laughs> Jack Glass Beats. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm punchy, and I've had a very crazy day. <laughs> Uh, you will always get a chuckle out of me. <laughs> and I have, I, I'm the queen of corny jokes, so there you go. We would like to see more. <laughs> I know, don't quit my day job. I, I understand. <laughs> Thank you for suffering through that horrible joke. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm silly. Oh, these look pretty. Cultured sea glass wavy earring pair, sea foam, 25 by 11. Did you, no, oh, that was really sealed, but these are very cool looking. Wavy sea foam. That almost looks like a mustache. <laughs> oh no, I got the sillies now. <laughs> Uh, thank goodness I don't do these unboxings at two or you probably wouldn't be able to understand me. <laughs> oh, I'm shaking my new setup. <laughs> oh, you guys. Oh, I gotta stop it. Okay. And those are really pretty. <laughs> I am so silly. Oh, this is one of my most favorite stones, you guys. Okay, so here's here we're getting to the gemstones. Amazonite smooth rondelles, eight by five millimeter, seven and a half inch strand. That's a nice long strand. These I just love. Amazonite. Amazonite. I love the the variation in colors. I mean, you get the deep teals like this. You get the little milky teals, then you get, you get into some of the sand colors. I mean, this just is definitely, to me, a summer stone. And I just don't think you can go wrong using Amazonite. It's just so interesting to look at, even just strung by itself. It's, it just is. It's just beautiful on its own. This is a really cool, very rich um, palette. It's subtle, but it's really, there's a lot of uh, depth to this that, I, that I'm enjoying. Um, I hope you are too. All these colors too, you know, are very calming, which is why we get so serene at the beach. Crazy Lace Agate in a star cut. Star cuts are cool seven and a half inch strand. So this is another gemstone. Um, that we're getting. Oh, I hope you can see the detail on these because it's amazing. Mother Earth creates the most beautiful things. And this star cut, I think, really highlights a lot of these little variations. That's really gorgeous. Look at that next to the Amazonite. Wow. This is gonna be a very interesting palette to work with. 
Okay, and here's another gemstone. Artistic Jasper, smooth around, 10 millimeter, a seven and a half inch strand. Oh, gorgeous. Jasper comes in lots of different colors. But I mean, every one of these beads is a little work of art. Beautiful. That next to the um, aqua. Isn't that beautiful? Can't wait to play with Seymour. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, goodness. Let me move some of this because this is a mix that I'd like to go through. We usually get a check mix from Sam and I love that because there's just it's like digging for treasure. Which who doesn't look for treasure on the beach, right? This is just fun to look at. All this. I feel like I've gone to the beach and gotten treasure. Okay. Move these guys up here. Let's see what we got. Ooh, I see some big beads in there. So this is a light brown check glass mix. Now more of each bead. Oh, so they're kind of paid attention to you getting, well, that's kind of cool. If you want to make a bunch of earrings, then hopefully you've got pairs in here. It sounds like that they're making a little less random as far as amounts. So that's very nice. Oh, wow. Wow, look at those. Aren't those beautiful? Those are some big leaves, you guys. And then, I love these maple leaves too. I have these in lots of different colors. Those are very pretty. And then more leaves here. They said more than one of each color. Little saucer beads. And these have the hole at the top. I don't know if you can see that. Let me grab a, what happened to my head pin? I guess I lost him. Oh. Ah. Found him. I just want you to see where this hole is because it's at the top. These kind of look like little M&Ms. Ooh, tiny hole. that so keep that in mind when you're stringing them it would make an interesting texture on something got quite a few of those love these little square cut beads so this to me is like colors of sand um, look at these little leaves. Aren't those cute? Lots of daggers. Uh, those. Yeah. I'm glad they kind of paid attention to multiples. That's very cool. Very cool. So, you know, you can do a few more pairs of things, which is nice. And um, that's a nice neutral backdrop to some of these other, I mean, look at the blue with that. That's beautiful. This Amazonite with this, I mean, please, that's stunning. And the Crazy Lace Agate. And then you've got these shell looking Wow, very pretty. And then if you wanted to go in another direction, see this, this is what I mean by the depth of the colors. You know, if you did more greens, you can still get, look how rich that looks with these, these guys. 
whole nother direction, but um, they all go together. Even the, the turquoise looks amazing with this neutral um, palette. The gray blue color, the aqua. Look at that aqua with that. Wow. Come here, Seymour. Let's see how you look. <laughs> yeah, buddy. He looks good there, too. And you got your... This is kind of how I design, if you ever... I, I do just sit around and just play with things and just lay them together and see what they look like. And when I see a combination I like... Um, that I kind of go for that. But I like these kits because they, they've done this palette for you. Now you can add things to this, of course, from your own stash. You may have, maybe you want to add more of this rust and you've got some copper. Copper uh, metal would be amazing with this palette. I may do that. Cause, and I wouldn't think of that other than I have this and this looks great with it. So stay tuned. What I will make with this, I do not know, but it is stunning. As always, I don't think Sam disappoints. I think he picks very beautiful, high quality items um, and curates them in a way that you can't help but make a beautiful piece of jewelry. And, uh, and get your sillies out at the same time. Uh, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I just crack myself up sometimes. And then you get little nice little mints which is so sweet. Anyway, so this is the Sam's Beadbox for July, which I was excited to get and I'm happy to have Coastal Bound. And um, I definitely see the coast theme coming through. So thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. There's a little bell icon too. If you click the bell, uh, you get notified the next time that I upload a video so you know when I've come out with another one and I try to do at least one a week but um, sometimes I'll do two or three if I do a cooking you know I've got a couple of cooking ones I'm going to do this week which you'll probably see before this so uh, anyway keep yourself safe take care of yourselves um, thank you for watching I appreciate all the lovely comments and I will see you on the next one.